encouraged me to finish my level one achievement. So I'm giving the speech, old line sign, before I leave. <laughs> Hawkeye 360 actually refers to the a company that makes a satellites, also known as Super Cool Space Thingamajigs. <laughs> and uh, I had to research this as part of a class I'm, I'm currently taking on military satellite communications. Uh, this system is actually a commercial company, but it has a lot of applications a lot of applications that they're developing that, in my opinion, have a lot of useful uh, cases for a future a use for the uh, military, especially for Navy. So how it works is there are three satellites in a low Earth orbit. All that means is they're floating in a circle, an orbital path around the world. Of, approximately 1,200 miles away. So it's above the atmosphere. Uh, it seems extremely far. Uh, 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 some uh, satellites are about a 30 or 40,000 miles away. So it's very close. There are only uh, currently uh, three satellites up there. There are supposed to be about 18. So currently, um, each a satellite has a 46-hour uh, revisit time. All that means is if you pick a point on the Earth, a satellite will pass over that point every four to six hours. Ideally, you want a 24 hour, a seven days a week, a constant coverage. And this will happen with 18 satellites in orbit. Uh, uh, the company recently got about a $70 billion um, a contract in funding. It operates in what we call a VHF to KU band of the electromagnetic spectrum. I have a chart on my next, on my following sl slide that will explain that. And uh, and how it works is it uh, it has a um, a few uh, a radios as part of its a software package in the satellite. And what that does is it can uh, geolocate any uh, radio frequency on the ground that is within. 144 megahertz to 15 gigahertz. So it could be a ship, um, a land station, anything that has a radio, it can be tracked. And it's very useful for a variety of reasons. Here's a picture of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum. It looks crazy. It's really not that uh, difficult. As a radio waves is how basically we can, our, our, how our, our satellites, how our GPS works, how any of our communications actually works. X-rays all the way over here, You've got your fancy gamma rays. So for this application, it's operating from about here to about you know, 12 to 15 gigahertz in this range. So as you can see, FM radio operates there, your mobile phones, radar. Here's an example, it's a small picture, forgive me, but uh, here's an example of a, uh, a ground station antenna. And that's how big they are for your very uh, high uh, data rates that this application would use. Also you got your Wi-Fi, your TV broadcast, all that is using approximately the same uh, spectrum. So it's a very credited spectrum to boot. So the company offers three main products as part of, uh, of this product that you can buy. RFGO, I already stated, is, it's, um, it's your standard a geolocation if you just need uh, to find something. This gets more specific depending on what you're actually trying to look for. RF Mosaic is if you're trying to get information about a spectrum in a certain area. So the picture on the bottom shows I believe it's a photo of the UAE, of the green areas and, and, uh, and red areas. Um, the a darker and more colorful of the area, it shows that, that there are more users in that area. So if you're trying to build an application or you're trying to expand, for example, a cellular a data network, then um, having that info is useful to know. So you know um, what to, uh, our frequency ranges are crowded, and what ones are perhaps easier to use in that area. At the top, a picture is what's called Seeker. Uh, so, as you can tell by the name, SCA is all capitalized because it refers to the sea. Uh, the red tracks 
are basically a seedlings. Uh, each ship uh, is um, a required by law to have a, a radar a machine called AIS. It's a, uh, a tracker that shows your location, your speed, and, and most importantly, your identification of a vessel. So if you're a military vessel, if you're a commercial uh, a vessel, if you're a cruise ship, you have to have that always on. What some nefarious people try to do is they try to change that data or not have that machine on. If they're trying to illegal smuggle or something like that, then they'll turn it off. Um, how like they normally um, uh, attract this and monitor this is for a, a flights, um, and it's like a, a, a Navy or Coast Guard has to go out and fly and try to attract these people down. But if you use this application, a satellite is a lot easier and a lot cheaper to find these problems. So, um, and then also for a crisis um, response support, if there's a, a, um, a disaster and you have to help support uh, people on the ground, if there's no a cell phone network or anything like that that is working in that area, it can be a useful alternative to using satellite. Here's some resources, uh, mainly from the uh, website of the Hawkeye 360 company. It has a lot of interesting info um, in general about the product. So I think it's a pretty cool space satellite thingy majig. So I hope you, <laughs> uh, but I hope you all learned uh, something cool about it. It's cool too.